All right, we're going to make this low poly stylized car side view mirror. I think it can be used on a lot of different cars. All right, so we're going to use the default cube. Press 1 on the numpad to go to front view. Press tab to go into edit mode. Press 3 on the keyboard to go to face select. Select this face. Let's press 3 on the numpad to go to side view. We're going to scale this up, S, and rotate it back like this. Let's select this face. Go back to side view. We're going to drag it over on the y-axis, G, Y, like this. Rotate it. Let's add two loop cuts here. Hold control, press R, roll the middle mouse to get two. Left click twice. Let's add two horizontal loop cuts here. Press seven on the numpad to go to top view. Let's add two loop cuts up here. Let's go over to here. Press three on the keyboard to go to face select. Select these faces. Press one on the numpad to go to front view. We're going to move these over. GX like this. Scale them down on the Z axis. SZ like that. Press A to select everything. We're going to scale everything down on the Z axis like this. Scale everything in on the x-axis like this. Let's add a loop cut here. Control R, left click twice. Let's press 3 to go to face select. Select this face. Go back to side view. Extrude this over on the y-axis, EY. Let's deselect it. Go back to side view. Press C to go to the select tool. Select just these faces here. And press P and separate by selection. Press tab to go into object mode. Select the face that we just separated and press S. Scale it down in uh, object mode like this. Let's select the outer part there and press tab to go into edit mode. Press 2 to go to edge select. Let's select this. We're going to select this whole edge around here. So select this edge, hold control, and select an edge on top. And then keep control held down, select this edge, keep control held down, select this edge. Now the whole thing is selected. Let's go back to side view. Extrude and scale this in ES just a little bit like this. Extrude it back on the x-axis EX like this and then let's press tab to go in object mode and let's give this a modifier we're going to give it a subdivision surface modifier we're going to put both of these up to three press tab to go into edit mode press a to select everything and then you see we have this cage here we can get rid of that let's just bring, go over here to this subdivision then click on this triangle that gets rid of the cage it'll be easier to work with without that let's add a loop cut here control R Z4 to go in a wireframe view. Let's select these edges and scale them in on the y-axis, SY0. That makes that flat. Let's go in a, to a material preview. Tab to go in object mode. Let's go ahead and select the other part here. And give it a modifier. Again, give it a subdivision surface modifier and put them up at 3. Let's go ahead and give this a uh, material. Go here where it says surface and click on the green dot. We're going to change this from principled BSDF to glossy BSDF. And we're going to put the roughness down to zero. With this select, let's just give it, let's just shade smooth here for the mirror. And then let's select the other part here. And we're going to give this, um, give this another material. So go up here to plus, new, base color. And then just drag this all the way down to make black. And then press tab to go into edit mode. Press A to select this part and then just assign and it'll turn black back into object mode. Let's right click and shade smooth for that one. So there's our mirror.